All right, boys, they did it to us again. This card is very expensive, but they gave Ted Hendricks a card that is able to get 99 speed. He gets Lurker for free. He even has an acro in the same ability bucket. We have a pretty good setup on him right here today, but we're going to try to get some picks, try to get some hit sticks with him, and this should be a very fun gameplay. But if you guys enjoy gameplays, top 10s, anything Madden Ultimate Team, make sure to hit that like and hit that sub. We also will be streaming today at 1 p.m. Eastern. We're going to be using Ted Hendricks. We're going to be using all the new guys, Richard Sherman, Walter Payne, everybody that came out today. But other than that, let's get right into the video. Before we start today's video, I wanted to give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, MuttPacks.com. You can click the link down below and open exciting packs, win tons of coins, and withdraw your account right away. You could use promo code CHU for 15% off. Lastly, when you sign up down below, you can get a free 10,000 coin pack as well. Yep, 99 speed with the Easter Strat card, 99 Excel. I mean, yeah, I, it sucks. You do have to overpay a little bit because he's an outside linebacker. You do have to have Lurker on him, which sucks. But he is six foot seven, 220 pounds, so he's going to be one of the best users in the game regardless and we have a lot of AP anyways. But when you look at him, 99 block shed two as a user is insane. He's going to have insane power move, finesse move. He should dominate in the run game, right? He should obviously dominate in the run game. And I think where's his uh, change direction? 96 change direction on a user. 96 change direction on Ted Hendricks is absolutely insane. His good agility, everything too. And then I, his hit power is a 99 as well. So he's basically a golden ticket out here stat wise. And then when you look at his abilities, here is a zero AP ability bucket. We're going to be using acro on him right here. And then we're just going to use, I guess you could do it in any order because he gets acro for here for one too. So we're going to use tackle supreme, acro and lurker because you do need to still jump with these guys. Yes, he is. A, he's six foot seven, but you still need to be able to jump to make him even more broken. But this should be a very fun gameplay. It's really hard to force an interception in one game or a little bit of recording time. We're going to do our best, though, especially with a guy this big. All right, boys, game number one, and it looks like we're playing against a really good team right there. So his users are linebackers as well. And Ted Hendricks, yeah, he just, I don't know. I top three never changes, so it's kind of boring right there. But I actually don't want the ball first in this one. Hopefully, we can get a little unlucky. I guess that's the word. Nope. All right. I mean, I guess we can go score fast and then get the ball, you know. Hey, the man meta is above us. I feel like every game I, I've not played zone in a while. I don't know. It's because there's so many inside shades coming out and like man KOs and everything. But I swear all I play is man now. Am I the only one? But look at our guy Gronk right there. I don't know why Gronk's still playing. He was in there from the running back gameplay. But there he is, man. Is if he's pressing on the outside over there, we might get a wide open touchdown with Devontae Smith. And look at him, boys. Wide open. That's what we love to see. That's why you can't press and then move your safeties out right there. And I don't know. Just once we start getting more one step ahead, I truly do not know if I could ever. I might turn into a gun monster and X Factor guy. I know I don't want to go down that deep, dark path, but I might have to, honestly. But let's see. We have a nice little play right here, boys. We're trying to score. And I think we could. Ah, oh, man, it's just everybody's getting bumped, man. Ah, oh, man, it's just, you know, you guys all know how it is. And my, I have my guys all out of position. Like, Calvin should never, ever be in the slot. And uh, Devontae Smith should be there. I probably could switch him right after this play. Because right now, we're Calvin obviously is struggling a little bit. Just kidding. Just kidding, boys. All right, never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, we're playing against Titan. Look at Ted Hendricks in the, hey, at the user position. We do have secure tackler, so if he runs a lot of trap and stuff, hopefully we can get some good plays. And let's see, was he throwing that underneath route, boys? I don't know, man. That might have been a pick. I mean, he feels amazing. I, I will tell you guys all the time when a card, like, obviously, when you have a 99 change direction on someone this big, he's going to feel really good. And he threw it right into a flat. I don't know what he was throwing right there. Yeah, I, I truly do think he will be the best user until we get golden tickets. But like I said, he is expensive. You do have to overpay on him a little bit. But, you know, that's how it usually goes in the game. Let's see what he has for us right here. Will he throw these? And he's throwing uh, into the flat again. I don't know what he's doing, boys. So my normal instinct when recording videos is to get tackled so I don't score the touchdown. But I forgot I'm recording a defensive gameplay. So I probably should have scored right there. But like I said, it's going to be very hard to force a pick in these. It's obviously you can't tell your opponent to throw it to Ted Hendricks at the end of the day. But we're going to try our hardest at the end of the day, right? And look who's wide open again, man. Calvin Johnson. All right. Well, I was going to move him out the slot, but he's still dominating out here. And there it is. We get a rage quit. Let's try to go get a pick again. All right, boys. Game number two, I got the ball first. I'm probably just going to cut until I score right here. I don't know. Let's see how this first play goes. We'll see how it goes right now. I think it, we should be able to score pretty easy. I feel like we've been really good on offense lately. Yeah, I think I'm just going to cut 
until we score and then go to defense. We really want to get a stop or a pick with Ted. Boys, I think we have a wide open touchdown. We know the cover four beater. I wanted to score fast, so I actually ran it two plays in a row when we got sacked to play before. Hey, but we'll take it, man. A nice little play. Let's get Ted out here. Off of his defense alone, I could definitely tell this guy's probably going to be a good offensive player. He might quick snap this right away, and this is where Ted's really good. We just scared him right there to run back into our secure tackler. We have supreme tackler on Ted. We have it on everybody, so him scaring him right there in the A-gap, that's what we... And he ran it again. But it don't matter. Ted Hendricks right there stopping him. Come on. And running the ball on uh, second and 11. The same play that just got slobbered up. It's kind of crazy, though. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Let's see what he has for us right here. Come on, man. We're clamping right now. Insert the, what's his name? Jair Alexander seatbelt strap. He is quick snapping the heck out of the ball right now, though. That is the one thing that is tough. He has snapped it. This is the slowest he's done it so far. So this is actually good for us. Come on, man. We need a Ted Hendricks pick or at least a bat down something right here on this big fourth down. Come on, boys. We need it. Oh, man. I don't understand why people run that play so much. They have two drag routes in the same spot. We'll be fine, though. We'll be fine. My fault, man. I just didn't think he was going to run the same exact play. He ran the play before. And look at him going again with the trap. Come on, man. We're shooting the gap every time. It's crazy that a guy like Ted Hendricks feels like this, though. He normally obviously feels a little bit more clunky being a bigger guy, but right now in the game he feels great and look at we're getting to the quarterback come on man i'm not gonna lie to you guys i, I love playing tight i know people hate playing the meta i love playing the meta i think it's easier you get to used to everything it's not like different every single time you know what i mean and look at it boys we're playing great defense again i mean ted obviously filling the run gaps we can't really force him to throw it right at us but we're dominating right now in defense all around and i'm gonna go for a score right here i'll show possession on this one this guy actually has a pretty solid defense man he's mixing it up really well if he's blitzing or not and it looks like right here we're gonna have a wide open x underneath we'll not take a hit stick there boys we're already in field goal range let's not turn it over the only thing that's tough is, is, man, you can't really tell when he's blitzing until he's actually, like, blitzing you. You know what I mean? He hasn't really done it a lot, though, this game. And we did have a wide open RB. Like I said, I don't want to turn the ball over here. Oh, okay. Okay. I did not do that. All right. I don't know what. What is going on? I got ruled down before I was down, and I did it. I don't know, boys. I don't know. That's just Madden right there. I'd be a little annoyed with him, but I was giving him a chance. I was running with my quarterback right there. Come on, boys. Second and four, though. Let's see. I think we're going to have a wide open Calvin Johnson again. And the touchdown. Let's go. There we go. We get another rage quit, man. I mean, we're just going crazy on offense and defense. I know I didn't get an interception with him, but you guys know it's very hard, especially when you're courting and trying to get an interception with a defensive player, that it's not really going to happen in most cases. But this card, I will tell you guys, I do think he will be the best user until we, until we start getting like Julius Peppers and whoever tall safeties we are getting with golden tickets. We don't know all of the golden tickets yet, but Ted Hendricks, I think he's the best. I do think he's the best. I think he's one of the better cards in the game right now. But like I said, golden tickets are around the corner. I don't know if he's worth the coins unless you were a part of the Madden glitches and they gave you a bunch of free coins like my account right here. But at the end of the day, Ted Hendricks, man. Yeah, number one user. I got to say it. I don't even have a pick and I still feel that way. Hey boys, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I love Ted Hendricks. I feel like I have to make a video on him every time. He is a Madden legend. And like I said, I wish I could have got you guys an interception. I did get a couple run shoots against an X-Factor running back. I know we all hate the X-Factor running back. So when we can shoot him ourselves, especially with a go-to user, it's really, really easy that way. But I hope you guys enjoyed and hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace out, boys. <laughs>